Voyager Public Charter School, and I am joined, oh my gosh, by the, by the, so, so, um, so we're going to talk all about how you are a parent. Yes. And you're also a teacher. I am. So we're going to walk and talk on this playground right now, but first of all, I want to tell, I just want to know, like, what made you choose this for your children? Well, it started early on, you know, my daughter was born freshly and we wanted a place to put her in the world where it's small class sizes and we want that enhancement of learning to be project based where she's hands on and when I was working she'd come home and tell me all these stories and all these things that are happening at her school and it's so different from what I did so it just further made our choices, you know, ingrained that what we chose with Voyager is the right thing and plus the community here from teachers, the PTSO, everybody was so supportive of her. So she had relationships with more than just her own teachers. She had them with many teachers. And it's just really the support of the community that the school provided, yeah. That's so nice. And you have two kids here, right? I do have two kids. First grade. And fifth, fifth grade. grade. Yes. So you're dad, but you're also Mr. Herrera. Yes. And so tell me what, what inspired you to actually love the school so much to become a teacher oh, as well? Yeah. But just hearing the stories that she would come home with is like, I want to be a part of that. That sounds like a great place that I could fit in and bring my unique talents. Uh, I'm very, very cultured, so to, to love and embrace everything that they have to offer, I wanted to be a part of that. And seeing her thrive, it's like, I know I can make a difference. And any parent, when they send their kids somewhere, they want to know what's happening. And they want to know like, that things are done right. So with me being here, it's like, yes, I get to see, I get to do. And when I'm here, I'm I'm not dad. It's very distinct. I'm I'm coach or Mr. Herrera, whatever the kids feel comfortable with. But yeah, we're very distinct. Like dad is after school. We could yes. we'll hit that then. That's <laughs> awesome. And I know that this school really focuses on like hands-on learning, yes. engaging learning. So how do you implement that as a coach here at the school? Uh, I like to do things in seasons. Uh, we ran pickleball last year and it was one of the first implements that every child got to hold a piece of equipment because equipment Equipment is sparse, so for a kid to hold one and work skills, so we ran from basic dribbling to uh, back and forth over the net, targeting, and then ultimately it led to the goal of tournament play. And the kids got to referee and they got to take ownership of coaching and what their strategies are, as well as like warm ups and uh, the training side of things as well. That is so awesome. And you personally have such an amazing background. I kind of yeah. want you to talk a little bit about your background and also how. <laughs> that led to being a teacher here? Yeah, I have a background in criminal justice and I spent a lot of time in case management with uh, felony offenders, mental health, substance abuse. So the, the anti-social side of things was real relevant and I wanted to make a difference and put my time and energy into something. And I knew that working with kids at you know the middle school range was where I wanted to be. And I didn't know that it was I was needed more from the younger age, kindergarten and up. So we really focus on you know pro-social attitude, thoughts and beliefs, the social emotional learning side. Uh, we want every kid to succeed. And I call them student athletes. Uh, so all my student athletes, I like to meet them where they're at, as well as all of my colleagues. So we we could build them and really uh, work alongside them in collaboration as a partnership and that's where our, I find like the true joy of learning comes from is it's working one-on-one -on -one with the kids to know where they're at and how do we get them and they set their own goals so they make it pretty easy and fun for us. I can absolutely and I'm sure everyone can absolutely feel how much love and passion you yeah. have for your students and just being here today meeting the teachers yeah. being at the campus I can feel how special and how amazing this school is so it's awesome you guys are still accepting enrollments yes. right this is a K through 8 school make sure to visit their website and you can enroll because school is starting on Tuesday so now is the time it's now we can't wait coach so thank, you so thank you so much really appreciate it. Yes. you're watching hi now daily we'll be right back oh, yeah. <laughs>